Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and we are here to talk about the reasons why Metroid Prime Trilogy is not happening on June 19th. I am very sorry guys, it's not happening. It's outrageous that this rumor is out and people actually believe it because it's not happening. It's ridiculous, Nintendo would never release a game like this and announce it so soon to release. Metroid Prime Trilogy is going to be a huge game, huge component in advertising Metroid Prime 4. That's the whole point of this game. The Metroid Prime Trilogy is going to be for people who haven't played any of the games or haven't played select titles. This is going to be for people to get caught up with the series and be able to come freshly into the fourth game and understand what's going on with the plot and everything like that. So why would they release it so far away from the actual game's release? Metroid Prime 4 doesn't even have a release date. It's still TBA. Nintendo's press conferences have stated that. There's no indication that it's coming out in 2020, at least as of now. And the current situation in the world right now is not helping out with that. This game would not be released with such a poor marketing campaign. I'm sorry. It's not going to happen that way. Metroid Prime Trilogy is going to be a decent release for them. I'm not going to say it's going to sell like hotcakes or anything like that. But if Nintendo wants this game to succeed, they're going to at least try to put some marketing into it and try to release physical copies. And in Japan, if you want to release a game, you have to set up pre-orders 30 days before it releases. June 19th is about three weeks away or so. It's coming up pretty soon and it would just make no sense. Like to just announce the game now and spend like a couple weeks promoting this game. This game deserves a lot better than that. And I know a lot of people want this game, but Nintendo's trying to get other people to play this game too. This is about sales. If you want an effective marketing campaign, you announce the game and you build up hype like Paper Mario. Paper Mario got announced last week and it has two months of hype. That's pretty good. It's, the game is going to get hyped up. They're going to be able to release new details in between these two months, which is going to be crucial to the game's hype and getting people to want to buy it. People aren't going to be like, oh, I'm going to buy Metroid Prime Trilogy because they just announced it yesterday or a couple days ago. No, you have to announce the game beforehand if you actually want people to buy it. Regular people aren't going to be like, oh, I need to buy this game day one. They're probably going to be like, well, I need to look into it. I want to see how it is. I want to see more information about it. Can I have a little bit more time to think about it? And right now with the pandemic going on, people don't want to be spending too much money. They're going to be focusing on buying essentials. And if they're going to buy a game, it should probably be announced a couple months in advance. Like Paper Mario, for example, that game got announced very recently and it's coming out in two months that gives people enough time to process and think about if they're going to buy it and if they do want to buy it they could probably save their money now and actually purchase it when it comes out ultimately at the end of the day this is going to be about maximizing your profits if you want to maximize your profits you're going to announce your game a little bit in advance i'm not saying you announce it a year in advance <clears throat> like Metroid Prime 4, you announce it a couple months before, you build up hype with information, and you release the game. And I've been hearing a lot of people trying to logic a reason, like, oh, they can release a digital version only. Well, that's very convenient to you, but that's not convenient to the rest of the world. Not everyone has great internet. That's a fact. Some people's internet runs so poorly, and especially in this age of digital games, it's definitely a burden for some. So I think a lot of people would want a physical copy rather than a digital copy. That's, that's the nicest way I can say it. People would rather want a seamless experience and buy it physically, just slot in the cartridge, download a day one patch if they need to, and then play the game compared to maybe waiting a couple hours waiting for a game to download and there are people who just don't like physical maybe they don't have enough storage on their switch you don't know their circumstances and with that said those are my reasons why metroid prime trilogy is not coming out anytime soon i'm very sorry everyone but it's not happening it won't happen but i hope some of you guys can enjoy 
um, your backlogs or just purchase some games that already come out in the meantime. This video is a lot different than I usually do, but I hope it's something you guys liked. It's definitely different than what I usually do, but I won't know that unless you guys comment, like, subscribe, share it everywhere. Come on, help us out. <laughs> um, we are definitely jumping up in subscribers, total views, all that stuff. And it's very much appreciated. Um, we are working hard on trying to provide you guys content. We apologize for the delay on this video. Um, just some things happen. Our video originally planned for today couldn't happen. Or it's just, there's a lot of things going on and we will try to get that video out as soon as we can. I don't have a timeline on that. But until then, I hope you guys have a fantastic day and rest of your week. Much love to you all. See ya.